Avatar continues to surprise me because even with a movie that I was interested in and looked absolutely adorable, I thought, oh, this is probably going to be like a, a really good Pixar movie. No, this is a great Pixar movie and this is hands down one of their most personal stories yet. What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to a brand new movie review. Today, we're going to be discussing Turning Red. This is about a 13-year-old girl named Mei Li who turns into a giant red panda whenever she gets too excited. Of course, this is directed and written by Domi Shi, who is most notably known for doing the short film Bao, a short film that I loved, and I was so excited to see Turning Red. Very sad I wasn't able to see this in theater but it is premiering on Disney Plus this week, so many families are going to be able to check it out, which I think is like the biggest and coolest pro to it all. And I got this awesome hat that I stole from my girlfriend who is already very much excited for turning red, and I'm happy now that I can steal this hat. Uh, I don't, like I said in my intro, I, I love this movie. Like, this was so great. And from the trailers, like, I assumed this was going to be a really good Pixar movie because Pixar makes really good to great movies. They've made some duds, but overall, their movies are all fantastic and whisk me away. And Turning Red, truly enough, the trailers hit a lot of great stuff that just made this such a pleasant surprise and I have so much love for this movie and I think a lot of you guys are going to also have a lot of love but I can also see a lot of you guys disagreeing with me as well so that's where the comment section is going to be left open for you guys down there to leave a comment let me know your thoughts on Turning Red how excited are you for this movie are you from the Toronto area are you excited to see your city created in the Pixar universe let me know down below as well as hitting that like and subscribe button so we can keep talking movies over here on a daily basis if you want to see movies early, well, head on over to Samshon Films as well. Turning Red, one of the things that I truly want to start off with is Domi Shi's directing and writing in here. Like I said, this really feels like the most personal story yet and really much coming from a culture that I am not totally familiar with. I'm also not totally familiar with Toronto, Canada besides certain things that I've seen in shows or talked with friends about. Now, the thing about this entire film that I was so heavily brought in by was Mei Li as a character and how relatable she is. We all went through those awkward puberty style moments in our 13 year old lives and for me Turning Red really much brings that to life. This is one of the best coming of age stories that I've seen in the last probably 10 years and the way that Domi Shi is able to bring that personal tale in and bring all the awkwardness from the 2002s because that's when this movie is coming out and feeling all those weird moments that you would get with puberty whether you start to like the opposite sex or someone else in your life and you're like hey what are these feelings that i'm having for that person those are things that we all went through so many times during this moment where you feel awkward and you feel like you don't know what's going on turning red does this with a fantastic metaphor from when you're looking at this 13 year old girl who's going through puberty in the same sense, but it's all told from her becoming a red panda when she gets too excited. In general just feels too many different emotions. And I love that because as a teenager, we revolt against our parents. We get mad, we get angry too fast towards everyone around us. And in general, just the world. Turning Red's perspective on this brings such a sincere and hilarious output into there to where if you are an adult, you're going to watch this movie and look back and be like, yep, I was that kid. If you're a kid who's not going through there yet, you're going to think it's the absolute most hilarious thing. If you are a kid going through puberty, you're going to watch it and be like, damn, I suck as a human being. Us as teenagers, let's be honest, we, we absolutely did suck at that point in time. This coming of age story doesn't just dive in to that puberty nature, that awkwardness. It also deals in to the culture surrounding the red panda. And of course, what you can really much feel is Domi Shi's childhood. There's something insincere to be said about here with our parents and our elders, and maybe even coming to a better understanding of why our parents do such things or why they are doing such things. I know many times, I've looked at my parents and been like, why, why are you acting like this? And then maybe years down the road, you start, you start to learn something new that they've never told you about. And you go, I get it now. I get why you are like that. Turning red makes you kind of have this eye opening perspective to your parents, to your elders of why you are doing such in certain traditions. It's not just the kids that are going to have this eye opening experience. It's the adults who are going to kind of take a step back and be like, I was there. I was in their shoes and I did act like that. I think for me will bring a lot of kids and parents possibly more together, kind of growing them on their traditions, 
cultures and maybe just how they can both grow in themselves and their relationships to kind of make maybe this awkward little spill of their lives a little bit better. I think a lot of us forget to think of the opposite person. You know, if there's a teenager in our life or a kid or an adult, we forget to look at them and actually think, yeah, they were probably there or I, one day I'm going to be there too. Again, the messaging in here is written so cleverly. It's not banging you over the head. It's just right there and it's so well done. Did I already mention that this movie is absolutely hilarious? Again, something that 8th grade did so well a couple years back that Bo Burnham had directed was bringing again that puberty and that awkward sense of being in 8th grade and certain elements in there. And this movie really much brings back that nature and I love that because making fun of ourselves as teenagers or making fun of what teenagers do is a lot of fun. And some of the hilarious insanity that happens throughout here is that fun element that I couldn't get enough of. But the other aspect that I would love to add into here is the animation style that Domi Shi decides to go. It's like a mix between Studio Ghibli and other anime features as well as Pixar's all meshing together. It's also something Luca did a year back, but also something that I love about Pixar is how a lot of their animation is starting to kind of be different over the last three pictures that they've made. They're so widely and vastly different, and it's incredible to see how we have these two personal tales, Luca, which really much touches onto the Italian culture that I loved, and then Turning Red that touches onto this culture, this relationship, this coming of age, and everything of that nature. And then we have Lightyear coming out later this year, which... If you don't know me, I love Toy Story, so I'm dying to see that movie, but... You know, I, I'm so happy that Pixar is able to tell stories like this, and it... Very much, you don't see DreamWorks or even other studios making films like this, and this is why I think Pixar is one of the best studios, because they're able to tell stories like this, that while this movie didn't totally bring me into tears like many other Pixar movies do... It's one that I related so heavily towards, and I think so many other people are going to do the same. I haven't even started to mention the kaiju elements that they have inside of here with the panda bears. Not getting into spoilers, but there's some stuff in the third act that goes, again, I mentioned insanity. It goes insane and I loved it. It kind of reminded me of Dragon Ball Z at one point. Some of the action scenes in here just got me going. It's like... It's, uh, girl turning into red panda so how much action scenes can go in there but i i really mean there's some thrilling moments towards the third act that i was like just like the animation alone was so beautiful and it's pixar so we we understand that's going to happen but i mean when you see these moments they're unlike any other pixar scene we've seen before because of the unique animation they're doing this time around i mean just the certain things of when you see tears or when they change certain things that happen in the eyes when people think the panda is cute it really all goes towards that. And again, you can feel that there's such a breath of fresh air inside this film. And God, I wish I could have seen this on the big screen because this is one of those movies that was made for it. Green Red might be Pixar's most personal story yet. Domi Shi directs a hilarious coming of age story that deals with not just puberty, not just boys, but pandas culture and the relationship that we have our, with our parents and elders, giving an eye opening perspective to kids and adults and the music in here from four town awesome. I think a lot of you guys are going to be quite surprised with Turning Red. It's a movie that, again, looked really enjoyable and really cute, but man, did it win my heart over watching this film. I just sat there, and the more and more it went on, the more and more I thought it got better. Honestly, as any nitpick that I have, the only thing I could say is I personally would have liked to see a little bit more of the family members that come into the back half, a little bit more of a deep dive into those, but Seriously, that's a nitpick. A lot of you guys are going to love this. And if you don't love Turning Red, I actually want you to kind of take a look at it and see why didn't you like it? Because that would be an interesting perspective to have because this is one of those movies that I watch and I'm like, this is just, it's so much fun. Like, even if you didn't love it, I'd be very surprised if you didn't like it. With all that said, guys, I'm going to give Turning Red an A. You once again guys for watching this you guys are really all the best again i was pleasantly surprised with turning red and i can't wait to see what domi she does again whether with pixar or another studio i'm very impressed and again pixar continues to become my favorite studio i mean they already are but i'm very impressed with every time they come out with a feature and i've loved what they've been doing over the last couple of them so again guys hit that like and subscribe button comment down below your guys thoughts look out for an updated pixar ranking with turning red included and of course until next time stay classy